today we're going to talk about riveting. It's one important skill you need to build this aircraft. Well, any aircraft. So, I first learned to rivet when I was in Oshkosh doing Kidventure. I made a lot of cool things, like an airplane propeller. I carved it with a wood file and sanded it to smooth it. Then, I made a wing rib. A wing rib is the rib of the wing. Like how you have ribs up here? These are the ribs of the airplane wings. So for instance, there are a bunch of these, but made from metal up in here. Then, I riveted wings, Kidventure wings, onto my nameplate. It is a pin, so I can pin it onto my shirt. And for doing 12 activities at Kidventure, I got an EAA work toolkit. It has a screwdriver with all its tips, a flathead screwdriver, even tiny, then a itty bitty little screwdriver. Then I have needle nose pliers, a lengthener, and sockets, all different sizes. I forgot what these are called. Allen wrench. And I have two Allen wrenches. I hope I get to use this toolkit when I'm building my aircraft. The point of rivets is to take two or more pieces of metal, put them together, rivet them together to make one piece of metal. Let me show you an example besides this practice. For instance, look at this aircraft. It is riveted together with many pieces of metal and rivets. These three pieces of metal were just lone metals, but then they were put together with rivets right here. And they became one piece. So what rivets are important for, for my airplane is it turns all those pieces of metal into one piece of metal that is able to fly through the sky. So when you're riveting, you're going to need to be able to use Clicos. These are Clico pliers and you will be needing to use them to open and close this because our fingers are too weak to push it. So we use special Clico pliers. You put it in like this. You see this little rim right here? You set that right here. Then line this up right here. Then as I squeeze it, you see these, they come together. This thing is a wedge, so it makes them spread out as I release. But it comes, becomes small when I push it so that it can fit into a hole. And then when I release it, these pieces hold onto the metal, like this. You can use these to Keep together two metal pieces when you need them together. That way it's easier to rivet. There are all different types of rivets. Pull rivets. They can have a round surface or a flat surface. Or there's squeeze rivets. Or what I like to call stubbies because they have these little stubs at the end. They can have flat or round. 
And this is how you work a pulley. One. So you stick it in the gun like this. You line it up with your hole. Stick it in. You squeeze the trigger until you hear that snap sound. Then you release the trigger, take it off, and there is your ribbon. You might want to use needle nose pliers to get these extra little lines out. You don't have to. You can use normal pliers, but I like to use needle nose pliers because they have a small tip. Hey, Daddy, how do you use these stubby ones? All right, for the squeeze rivets, they operate a little bit differently. Instead of pulling out the mandrel, we're gonna use the Clico pliers to come here to the end where we've already done a dimpled set on the metal surface so you can see how it works. So these guys go in the hole the same way to make sure the little ones go in the little holes. This is for the number 40. Number 40 mm -hmm. is the small one, even though it's the bigger number. That's gonna be flush. So that's on the top. Flush, we use smooth. a squeezer tool to hold this down in place. I'm gonna brace myself, so sorry if my fingers are in the camera, to keep that flush. I'm gonna squeeze. It's a little bouncy this far out. And it's just a nice, smooth squeeze, and that makes it flat like a pancake. Mm. And it's all done, so it's now flush on the surface, and the bottom is really fat. And that fat is the same effect that you get on your pull rivets it's locked in place. So fat and stubby? Mm-hmm. That's why I like to call them stubby. <laughs> okay, I'll put it in this closest one to the end. Okay, now on the top is the dome. See the dome inside that squeezer? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take that dome and we're gonna put it on top of that rivet. Ah, so it keeps that dome shape. And we're gonna keep it perpendicular to the metal as we do the squeeze. We're gonna pull on that top part and it squeezes into place, just yeah. like that. And then it flattens on the bottom. Kinda like how it flattened when I did these. Those are squeeze rivets. And here you go. Yay. Set it on the top. Pull it down. Oop. Perpendicular to the metal. Perpendicular to the metal. Not perpendicular. There you go. Now you're perpendicular to the metal. Now squeeze. Good? Flat like a pancake. There you go. Actually, you do this. You take and line up all those rivets. Okay. Me. Mm. Why do these birds not like these holes? Is it too tight? No, it just doesn't want to go through. Sometimes that happens. Here's the trick. Oh, I see why. Move the, move the rivet. No, I see why it's rough here. It's just go through the hole one more time with your face.
that you gave me one too many, I think. That's okay, leave it right there. Yeah, squeeze tool. Squeezy, squeezy. So start on the one closest to the end that still needs to be squeezed. This one right here. Perpendicular. Whoever did perpendicular, there you go. There's your perpendicular. Can't see your finger in the way. And squeeze. Good. Go to the next one. Perpendicular. And squeeze. Good. Next one. Perpendicular. And squeeze. Okay. Next one. Okay, next one. Will we reach? We will. Wait, not perpendicular. There you go. Wait, nope, you're pulling. Now you go. Squeeze. There you go. Good job. My legs are going to be sore. <laughs>